The Institute for Molecular Engineering is a new approach to engineering research and education where instead of the traditional approach where engineering is divided into disciplines, we're trying to combine disciplines into problem oriented engineering. The principal way to think about us is as uh, an engineering program that is focused on doing what it takes to solve societal problems in technology. One of the things that makes this institute quite unique in the United States is that we're very problem focused. So in contrast to most universities in the country that have outstanding departments of chemistry, electrical engineering, material sciences, here we have no departments. Here we have a single institute where students focus on a problem, collaborate with their peers and faculty with multiple advisors to try and make breakthroughs in science and technology. It's a very different type of working environment. The University of Chicago has made a significant investment in starting the Institute of Molecular Engineering and what they're really trying to do is start what is essentially an applied sciences program to try to bring, bring different researchers from different um, areas of science together in the hopes that there can be collaborative efforts uh, in order to solve societal problems. And these different backgrounds include uh, quantum information science, polymer science, uh, biological sciences such as immunology, uh, as well as computational groups. Our group is interested in understanding the behavior of uh, salt materials, polymeric materials as well. Our research is currently organized into four categories. We study block polymers and how they self-assemble to form uh, devices, electronic circuits for example. We study liquid crystals for sensing applications. We look at DNA for uh, fabrication of synthetic materials. And we also look at proteins and how they can actually misfold and uh, aggregate and provide the basis for a number of diseases. The, the focus on biotechnology within the IME uh, relates mainly to healthcare problems and applications of engineering principles to healthcare problems. This could be new materials that uh, help us detect disease or stimulate the immune system, or it could be an understanding of diffusion and fluid flow in tissue that help us understand the immune system, cancer, metastasis, and other important medical problems. Our research in my group here at the Institute for Molecular Engineering is aimed at exploring the quantum properties of particles, in this case electrons that are used in today's electronics, but to see if we can go one step further and see if we can manipulate the quantum state of that particle for information processing, communication, sensing, and metrology. My research uh, revolves around materials, uh, primarily polymeric materials and uh, we research how to organize those materials precisely in two and three dimensions and some of the applications include uh, electronics, uh, patterning, biomaterials, and uh, uh, kind of recently with the Molecular Engineering uh, Institute, uh, materials for energy research. So many of the materials we work with are self-assembly materials. That means that they uh, spontaneously organize uh, themselves and the trouble with self-assembling materials, at least in some applications, is that the length scale over which they order perfectly uh, is limited. And so the directed part of our research in directed self-assembly uh, relates to giving those materials cues as to how to organize uh, in more precise manners for the applications that we, uh, that we work on. I have a number of interest in the study of water and water purification. On the one hand, we're trying to design materials for water purification. On the other hand, we're trying to design surfaces that inhibit absorption of proteins, which eventually can damage uh, parts and materials that are exposed to water. We have been studying water in my group for about 15 years and uh, we have looked at the basic properties of water, believe it or not, something as uh, common and as uh, well known as water, uh, its properties are not very well understood at the basic uh, uh, scientific level and we have looked at properties of water in contact with surfaces for problems related to uh, renewable energy sources. We are using our tools to build an understanding of the molecular engineering of materials. 
The IME is really focusing in the short term on five research themes. Water, energy storage, immunotherapies, new materials for the computer industry, and quantum information science. But these won't be our themes for all time. We intend to make progress on those, solve some of these problems if possible, change course if necessary.